Today we are looking at Tony Rice's break on I Wonder Where You Are Tonight. This is from his album Plays and Sings Bluegrass, track 8. They're in the key of E, but they're playing it capoed on the 2nd fret out of the D position. So, let's lower it down to 70%, dig right in. <laughs> So as I mentioned before, they are capoed on the second fret and played out of the D position. So every note name I throw out there is going to be relative to the capo, not relative to the nut. All right, so I've broken this break into seven different licks, seven different chunks. That's the way that makes the most sense to me. He's just the very first lick. This is how he starts off the entire thing. Okay, so let's pick that apart. So right off the bat, you've got an upstroke that happens on your open D string. Okay, he's going to follow that up with uh, it, this pattern. It, it goes on the 3rd and 4th fret and then the 4th and 5th fret, so he walks it up. Okay, so D, C, C sharp, D, C sharp, close D, open D. Okay, then kind of a modified G run, but in the key of D, right? So I'm going to rock all the way back down to your 1st fret on the E string. That's a low left natural. Bring it up to an F sharp. Okay, and then open A. Then B. Then D. Then A. Then B. And then hold that C natural for a while. Okay, so really slow one more time. Okay, so the second lick is actually going to kind of mirror the first lick. It's a little bit of call and response. So here's how that second lick goes. Just with like a little tag on the very end, all right? So upstroke, I'm going to go first fret on the A string, so that A sharp or B flat, however you want to spell it, it's going to hammer on to a B natural. Okay, then an upstroke on D, down on E, upstroke on G, then catch an F natural, that's your third fret on your D string, E, D. Okay, now this part is going to rock back and forth between open D and low B, okay? So we just played that D, so I'm going to have low B, D, low B, D, and then hold that open A string for a full B, okay? Then you're going to have a hammer-on that starts on an upstroke. Okay, so A to B hammer-on on an upstroke and then catch an open D, and then that B one more time, and then end on that D, okay? Okay, and you saw what my picking hand was doing there. Oh, so. Hopefully that makes sense. So those first two licks together sound like this. So the third lick, which is probably my favorite. Okay, so a lot of sliding. So you were just rocking back and forth between that open D and that low B, right? Well, that low B is actually going to be your starting point here. You're going to take that second finger, second fret on the A string. You're going to slide it all the way up to the seventh fret. And do that on an upstroke. Okay, now your first finger is going to reach back here, one fret behind, so on the sixth fret, but on the G string, so you've skipped that D string, okay? Okay, so you've slid up, then caught that sixth fret on the G string, okay, you're going to play that seventh fret A again, that sixth fret G again, then you're going to slide your second finger up two frets, and your first finger up one fret. I know it sounds weird, so... 7 to 9, right, and then that first finger is going to stay on that 7th fret, ok? 
Okay, so really slow. Okay, then you're going to slide it back. Okay, so you went back to 7 and 6. Then you're going to slide it back one more time from 7 to 5 and catch that 4th fret on the G string. Okay, so real slow. Okay, and then you'll catch that open D and that's going to set up the next part of the lick. Okay, so you've just ended on that first finger 4th fret on the G string, right? Okay, so here's the next lick. So really slow, you just play the open D, you're going to play that B, that 4th fret on the G string, then you're going to rock back to D, then next finger up on the 5th fret on the G string, then rock back to D. When you rock back to D, that gives you a chance to stretch back to take your 1st finger to the 2nd fret on that A. Okay, so you just play that 2nd fret A on the G string, play an open G, A one more time. Then you're going to hammer on from your 3rd fret on the D string to your 4th fret on the D string. Okay? Open D, C natural, so that's 3rd fret. 3rd fret on the A string, and then open A. Then D, then you're going to hammer on from A to C natural, so open to 3. Then an open A again. Then D, then C, then D. Okay? So when I put those last two licks together, okay, the next lick, you're scooching all the way up the neck. Okay, so you just played that D, C, D. On that open D, that gives you a chance to move up the neck, so you're going to put your first finger on the seventh fret on the A string. Okay, then you're going to play the 9th fret on the D string, take your 1st finger over 7th fret on the G string, then 2nd finger is going to take that 8th fret on the B string, then 10th fret on the B string, 7th fret on the E string, then you've got to pull off from that C natural down to B, so that 8 to 7, okay, then you're going to reach over with your pinky, catch that 10th fret on the B string, then 8th fret, Okay, take your first finger, you're going to play that 7th fret, and it's going to slide back to the 5th fret on the E string. Then your pinky is going to catch that 8th fret. Walk one down to 7, and then catch that open E after that, okay? Go slow. I know it's a lot to process up the neck like that, but it's going to take you back down to first position to handle the end of the solo. Okay, we're going to go right into the next lick. Okay, all right, so when you've taken that open E string, that gives you a chance to scooch back down. Your second finger is going to catch that D on the B string, right? So third fret. Your first finger is going to come right below it, that B flat on the G string, so third fret again. And it's going to slide down to the second fret. Okay, then catch an open G. First finger is going to catch that second fret on the D string for that E. And your pinky is going to reach up to fifth fret on the B string for that closed D. Okay. Now you've got a triple it and two slides to take care of. Here's the, here's the first note, that A, that second fret, second fret on the G string, and it's going to slide up to the B flat, one fret, and then it's going to slide back down. Okay. Open G, E, G, D, then A, F sharp. Okay, and that takes care of that lick, okay? Oops. Now, if you put those last two licks together, it sounds like this. Okay, so the very end. Okay, so let's break it down. So you're gonna, a lot of this is gonna be two and four with a couple of fifth fret notes, okay? So your first finger is gonna land that second fret on the D string for that E. Then rock it down to a C sharp, E 
one more time. Then catch that A, so you're gonna bar it across, that second fret on the G string. Then you're gonna reach up and catch, oops, catch a fifth fret on the G string, and then a fifth fret on the D string, okay? Third fret on the B string, so that D, fifth fret on the G string for that C, and then you've got to pull off from high G down to F sharp. Catch that D one more time. Then we're, all we're doing is outlining a D major chord. Okay, so you just catch that, caught that D, that second fret on the G string for A, hammer on from an F natural to an F sharp, so three, two, four. Open D, C natural, that's that third fret. Open D, C natural again. Open A, and then you've got a hammer on from a low F natural to an F sharp, so one to two. Okay, A, and then I hold that B for a full beat, and then catch a D. If you wanted to pull off there, you totally could, okay? So one more time.